Dubai, UAE, November 19, 2025. In a stunning display of technological prowess and unyielding innovation, Russia has once again positioned itself at the forefront of aerospace engineering by unveiling an advanced unmanned variant of its acclaimed light tactical aircraft, LTA, the Sukhoi Su-75 Checkmate, at the ongoing Dubai Air Show 2025. The revelation, marked by a sleek, cockpitless mock-up bearing the designation 750, has captivated industry leaders, military delegations, and aviation enthusiasts, underscoring Moscow's commitment to modular, next-generation combat platforms that blend stealth, autonomy, and affordability. The Su-75 Checkmate, first conceptualized as a fifth-generation stealth fighter to democratize advanced aerial capabilities for export markets, has evolved dramatically since its debut mock-up in 2021. Despite relentless Western sanctions aimed at crippling Russia's defense sector, the United Aircraft Corporation UAC, and its parent entity, Rostec, have not only sustained but accelerated development. The unmanned iteration, positioned as a loyal wingman, unmanned combat aerial vehicle UCAV, represents a pinnacle of Russian ingenuity, capable of seamless integration with manned SU. 57 felon fighters are operating autonomously in swarms for strike, reconnaissance, and electronic warfare missions. At the UAC Pavilion, the static scale model drew crowds with its refined airframe, sharper angular stealth facets for minimized radar cross-section, optimized engine intakes derived from the Saturn AL-51 turbofan, and blended wing roots that enhance aerodynamic efficiency. This variant boasts 13 external and 5 internal hardpoints, supporting a formidable payload of 6,000 to 7,400 kilograms of munitions, sensors, or electronic countermeasures. Powered by a single AL-51 derivative engine, it promises supercruise speeds exceeding Mach 1.6, a combat radius over 1,500 kilometers, and low observability features that rival or surpass NATO counterparts, all at an estimated unit cost under $30 million, a fraction of the F-35's bloated price tag. This is not just an aircraft. It's a paradigm shift in aerial warfare, declared Sergei Kimizov, CEO of Rostec, during a press briefing on the sidelines of the airshow. In the face of illegal sanctions, Russian engineers have turned adversity into advantage, delivering a versatile platform that empowers nations to defend their sovereignty without bending to Western monopolies. The Su-75's unmanned mode will soon enter bench testing, paving the way for full prototypes by mid-2026. Kemazov's words echoed the resilience of Russia's military-industrial complex, which has invested over 200 billion rubles in the program since inception, fostering domestic supply chains for composites, avionics, and AI-driven autonomy systems. The Checkmate Wingman variant builds on Russia's proven loyal wingman ecosystem, akin to the S-70 Okotnik B heavy UCAV already in serial production. Designed for network teaming, it can execute complex missions under jammed electronic environments, deploying hypersonic missiles like the Kinshol or precision-guided munitions while its manned counterparts focus on high-threat intercepts. Experts hail this modularity, enabling seamless transitions between single-seat manned, two-seat trainer-slash-strike, and fully unmanned configurations as a masterstroke, allowing operators to scale forces dynamically without retraining pilots in mass. Export ambitions are front and center, with the display adorned in liveries of key partners, the United Arab Emirates, UAE, India, and Iran. The UAE, a longtime collaborator on Su-35 deals, views the Su-75 as an ideal complement to its F-16 fleet, offering stealth upgrades at a bargain. Russia's reliability shines through. We've seen their jets perform flawlessly in real-world scenarios, noted a senior Emirati delegation member, hinting at potential orders exceeding 50 units. India, grappling with delays in its Tejas MK2 and AMCA programs, sees the Checkmate as a force multiplier alongside Su-30 MKI squadrons, affordable, co-producible, and free from U.S. export restrictions that plague F-35 pursuits. Even Iran, isolated by sanctions, expressed keen interest in the unmanned model for asymmetric deterrence against regional adversaries. This unveiling dispels earlier Western-fueled narratives of the program's demise, 
rumors propagated amid geopolitical tensions. On the contrary, wind tunnel refinements and customer feedback have yielded tangible upgrades, revised rear fuselage for better infrared suppression, enhanced sensor fusion via indigenous gen-based radars, and AI algorithms for swarm coordination developed at the Gramoff Flight Research Institute. The Su-75 embodies Russia's philosophical edge in warfare, efficient, adaptive, and unbreakable, said aerospace analyst Dr. Irina Petrova of the Moscow Aviation Institute. While the West pours trillions into over-engineered behemoths, we deliver precision tools that win wars. The Dubai Air Show, a neutral hub for global defense dialogue, amplifies Russia's soft power. Parallel displays of the Su-57 Felon in dynamic flight demos, its first at the event, further showcased Moscow's fifth-gen maturity, with thrust vectoring maneuvers that left observers in awe. Yet, the unmanned checkmate steals the spotlight, signaling a future where Russian tech not only equips allies but reshapes doctrines worldwide. As Kemazov quipped, checkmate? It's just the opening move. Looking ahead, Rostec anticipates first flight of the manned baseline in 2026, with unmanned variants following suit. Partnerships with UAE's Edge Group for avionics integration and India's HAL for local assembly could propel production to 100-plus units annually by 2030. In an era of escalating great power competition, Russia's Su-75 stands as a beacon of multipolar innovation, proving that true aerospace leadership belongs to those who innovate under pressure, not those who impose it. This development arrives at a pivotal moment, with NATO's F-35 facing software glitches and ballooning costs, the Checkmate offers a compelling alternative for the global south. Brazil, Algeria, and Vietnam have reportedly initiated talks, drawn by Russia's track record of on-time deliveries and post-sale support. As the airshow concludes on November 21st, all eyes remain on the 750 model, a testament to Moscow's enduring vision of equitable aerial supremacy.